What's up guys? It's Isaac at Tobacco Road Harley Davidson here in Raleigh, North Carolina with your new bike of the week, the 2022 CVO Street Glide. That's right, today we've got something a little bit fancier for you, a CVO Street Glide. Now, so far as motorcycles go from Harley Davidson, the CVO lineup is the best of the best you can get from the motorcycle company. Now, the CVOs for 2022 are loaded down with amazing paint, great speakers, and just overall hot rod custom styling. Now, the one we've got here for you today is the Blue Steel. Now, this bike is in a gorgeous blue paint with metallic flakes all over, and then this darker black chrome on it with those bright red accents on that 117 Milwaukee 8. So stick around and we're gonna dive into everything that makes this bike so cool and all the awesome features that this bike is packed with for your new Bike of the Week. So the CVO lineup from Harley Davidson has always been recognized by their brilliant bright paint jobs and their great speaker systems and their overall head turning appearance. And this one right here is absolutely no exception. Now the 22 CVO Street Glide is gonna be offered in three different colors this year. It's gonna be offered in the envious green fade, which is a gorgeous kind of up from the front. You'll see those bright flames and then kind of fades into a black into the rear. And then you've got the bright high tail yellow. And then you've got this darker and industrial style blue steel. In the dark, it almost looks like this ominous figure but then once you really get some light on it you'll see that brilliant flake all over in that blue paint on this bike and then you'll see that smoked black chrome all over it giving those brilliant accents and then that bright red there on that 117 milwaukee 8 motor and these bikes are fully loaded with the best in technology from harley davidson as well as the best features and these bikes are really just put together to be works of art right on the showroom floor. The only thing you've got to do with these bikes is ride them off the showroom floor and keep riding them. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start up in the front and work our way to the rear, really showcasing the fine details that really make this bike so awesome. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hop right into it. So up in the front, you've got these fugitive rims with that spoked look up front, but it's actually going to be all one solid wheel. You've got dual brakes up front with ABS, and we'll talk a little bit later about all the awesome uh, rider safety enhancements that are on this. But going right on up, you've got that nice responsive front suspension. Also with that smoked chrome all the way down to the axle. And you do have those axle nut covers on either side. You've got a full length front fender helping keep some of that spray and kick up down to a minimum. And right behind that, you've actually got a chin spoiler. So that is a painted piece to match the rest of the bike, but it's gonna give that old cooler a little bit more protection up front. And it's gonna help tie that front fender into the chassis of the bike a little bit better, giving it just a little bit of a cleaner look. But coming right on back up, you've got that fork mounted bat wing fairing of the Street Glide. Now this one's a little bit fancier. You do have that channel bringing air right up through the middle and up in so to help kind of balance things out a little bit better. You've got this nice little bit of a tinted windshield on it that you can always get a higher up one if you need it. And then you do have a matching painted interior on this front fairing as well. But the centerpiece of this fairing is actually the, the LED adaptive Daymaker headlight from Harley Davidson. When I say this bike is packed with the best of the best, I mean that for all over the bike, including the headlight. So this is probably one of the best headlights you can get from Harley Davidson. And I'm gonna cut it on and show you why. So you'll see that it's also, so not only does it have that nice bright halo around it, and then it's got a nice low beam and a really bright high beam, but it's adaptive. And so what that'll do is when you find yourself going into a turn, it'll actually turn on certain LEDs that are pointed into that turn that it senses you're going into. So that way when you're counter steering and sending it into a good curve, it's actually gonna shoot more light up into that turn to help you see just a little bit better. But this bike does have LED lighting all the way around on it. So you do have those bright turn signals on the front. And then you've also got bright LED brake lights in the rear. But coming back to the fairing, um, on the inside, uh, you've got your instrument cluster. So you've got your fuel gauge, your speedometer, your tachometer, and your volts. And all those gauges have that custom CVO backing in them to really help them pop a little bit better. Then just like the headlight was the focal point on the front of the fairing, on the inside that focal point is that Boom GTS infotainment system. So this system can be operated by the joysticks on the thumbs, or you can be operated with the touch screen. This screen's capable of all the fun features like the other touring Harley Davidsons. It's got your music controls, your navigation, and then it can give you some of the stats and other data readouts on the bike. Just below that screen, you've got the fork lock. Uh, so you can turn that to the left and then you can use the circle key that's on the fob and go ahead and lock that. So that way the forks are locked together so nobody can really push this bike if you don't want them to. 
Um, and then beside that, you see that little unlock and lock button. So that's actually a really cool feature on this bike. But what this bike actually has is an electronic lock as well. So when the bike's on, what you can do is you can hit that lock button and it'll sound like you're walking away and locking your car. It'll, you'll hear the locks go on the saddlebags and then both those saddlebags are locked up. And I'll go ahead and show you the key fob for this bike while I'm thinking about it. So in my right hand, this is a standard keyless entry fob from a 2018 Softail from Harley Davidson. So this is from a Sport Glide, so you've got the key fob and then you've got that larger key for the saddlebags and the fork lock. Now, here I've got the CVO key. So the cool thing with the CVO key is that it's all one piece and it says CVO on it. It's got the medallion on it and everything. I've still got the plastic on it because this is brand new. Not going to go ahead and pull that off. But you can actually lock the saddlebags with this key fob too. So I can walk away from the bike, hit that lock button, and you'll hear the saddlebags go ahead and lock up on this bike. And so then uh, nobody, can, nobody can hop in there. And when I walk back up to the bike and I'm ready to put, throw my hat in before I hop on the bike and ride, hit that unlock button, and go ahead and lift the saddlebags right on up and throw everything in there. So super cool. And it's got the little classic Harley circle key built into it. So you just push that button and it just pops right on out. So that way you've got a one piece key and then you can use this hard key to lock the saddlebags if you'd rather do it the old fashioned way and for the fork lock. And then this controls your keyless entry and your security as well. So super cool security system on this bike altogether. And it, this bike actually comes with two fobs. So if you're riding with a passenger a lot or you just wanna make sure you have a spare key, then you can let your passenger carry your key or you can just leave that extra key at home just in case. So hopping back up to the front of this bike, uh, it does have those little mini eight bars. So that way it's bringing your hands up to a nice and keeping you in a nice upright riding position. Uh, this bike is decked out in the Kahuna collection from Harley Davidson. So you've got the Kahuna heated grips, the floorboards, the passenger pegs, as well as the brake pad and the shifter knobs on the other side. On the bars, this bike does have the heated grips. So it's got that simple knob you can turn right here on the left side with six easy settings. Then let's go to this tank. So this tank's one of the other focal points of this bike. So you've got a six gallon tank standard, just like on the other touring bikes. And then in the center, you've got that light up Harley Davidson CVO emblem. And on the right side, you've got a flush mount fuel cap. On either side, you've got those brilliant Harley Davidson CVO emblems. And then below that is the powerhouse of this motor, that 117 Milwaukee 8 motor. So you've got the 117 Milwaukee 8 motor. Now all the finish right here is in that smoked chrome. So compared to the other chrome, it's going to be that nice, bright, shiny. But this just gives it, lets you keep that nice shiny appearance, but makes it a little bit darker. So if gloss black's too dark for you, but chrome's too, but chrome's too bright for you, then this is perfect right here. This motor's got those nice red accents on it as well, which really help make it pop more. You've got that heavy breather on the outside, so it's going to make this motor look a lot more aggressive and let even more air get pumped into this bike. Then you've actually got a high flow dual exhaust with a crossover and those Kahuna end caps on the end, really helping get that air out of the bike just as fast as it's going in. So between those pipes, that heavy breather, and the tune on this bike, it's going to be very responsive and it's going to go and do exactly what you're going to want it to. And since this is a bigger motor, it does have these nice little heat deflectors right here. So that way it's going to help keep some of that heat from the rear cylinder away from your legs a little bit when you've got them propped up on these nice Kahuna floorboards. Which one of the cool things about these floorboards is they actually have scrape pegs on the bottom as well. So you've probably seen many floorboards before where they're all scraped up on the side from people just absolutely sending them. But these have little scrape pegs on the bottom so that way you're not going to have to worry about tearing these boards up too much. And then in front of those, you have those low profile engine guards. So of course you never want it to, but if somebody were to tip this bike over, that's gonna help protect it a little bit better. And it does have room on it. So that way, if you wanted to throw some highway pegs on there, you certainly can. Then coming straight back, you do have the passenger pegs, also part of the Kahuna collection, but also keeping you comfortable on those longer trips, you've got that CVO seat. So it's a little bit lower, but it's gonna keep you in that 26.1 inch seat height, standard with the other street glides, but it's a little bit wider, and that little bit of suede in there is going to help you stay on this seat just a little bit better. So not only does it look good, but it's very comfortable and it's got this nice wide passenger pillion. So that way your passenger is going to enjoy riding this bike just as much as you. And then it's actually got that upgraded Harley Davidson seat screw as well, just as a nice little extra touch on it. Then on either side of this bike are the saddlebags. So these actually aren't the stretch saddlebags that you'd see on the Street Glide Special, 
but these are up a little bit higher so you can lean it a little bit harder and it doesn't cover up quite as much as that pipe so you can really show off that black or scorched chrome up there. These bags are awesome. They're the easy open bags. You just lift up with the latch and they stay right there open. And then you've got the electronic lock on them you can do with the key fob that I showed you earlier. And then on top of these bags are actually the Roxford Fosgate speakers. So this bike is fully outfitted with the Stage 2 Roxford Fosgate system. So not only do you have those upgraded speakers on the bags, but you've also got them in the fairing. So when you're sitting here on the seat, then you and everybody around you will be able to hear this loud, crisp, good sound coming out of these things. So it's going to let you hear the music you want when you're stopped and especially at highway speeds. Then inside these bags, uh, there's actually a the little uh, extra gifts with the CVO. So with the street glide, it's actually going to come with that CVO cover for the bike. And then it's also going to come with uh, the, in, the bag inserts. So that way, when you're doing some longer touring, uh, you can put the inserts on either side of the bags. And that way, you can load them up with your stuff for your trip. And then when you get to the hotel room, you can just flip open the bags, pull your little inserts out, and carry them up to the hotel room. So that way, you can just have everything up there with you. Uh, then behind those, you've got the excellent rear suspension on this bike. So it's going to keep that rear wheel right there on the ground and make sure it's a very nice, pleasant ride for both you and that passenger. And this bike doesn't have a tour pack, and so it leaves this whole rear end nice and exposed, so that way you can really show off that paintwork. And then you've got your brake turn signal lights in the rear, right there in between the rear fender and the saddlebags. So it's a brilliant, bright LED light that's really gonna make this bike be able to be seen. Then right between those, you've got a little reflector, as well as your license plate mount. So let me go and show you what this bike looks like with a rider on it. So standing the bike up, Compared to weight with the Street Glide standard, it's actually very close to that. I'll give you those numbers here in just a moment. Um, but it's a nice, comfortable, wide seat with a, just enough of a back wall, and there's a good grip on the seat as well. So when you really start moving on this bike, it's gonna keep you in there. Um, it's a nice, comfortable, upright riding position. Um, you know, you've got those easy open bags right there. You're right in the middle of all those speakers, so you're gonna hear a good sound. Those mirrors are nice on the outside, so you're gonna be able to see behind you very well. Uh, good, comfortable grips. So on some of those cold morning rides into work, you might enjoy having that little bit extra heat in there for you. You've got this nice display. Everything's in nice, perfect, easy view. Awesome CVO medallion. Uh, the brilliant paint all over this thing. Uh, go and throw my legs up on the floorboards. So they're nice. Ooh, they got that nice little rubber, so it's nice and soft. Kind of cut out any extra vibration there. And so they are the floorboards, so I can kind of move my feet around on them to really kind of get as comfortable as I would like. And then I can just hop on that little brake pedal there. Oh yeah, so this is an awesome bike. And one that its power, performance, and comfort are gonna show that as good as this bike looks sitting, it's gonna look just as good flying in the wind. And with that 117 Milwaukee 8 and nice comfortable seat and the setup, uh, you're gonna wanna keep it in the wind too. So we'll go ahead and hop off this thing. And lastly, just a couple other features that I haven't mentioned yet. This bike also comes with a wireless headset. So you can go ahead and slap that in your helmet. So that way you can go ahead and get the full features of this bike's infotainment system. And so far as those rider safety features that I mentioned earlier, this bike is packed with not only ABS, but electronic linked braking, that traction control that you can set right there on the top end of the horn button, drag torque control system, and hill hold control. This bike has a tire pressuring monitor system, and all those features I just mentioned, it also has the cornering enhanced versions of them as well, to make sure you're getting the most traction possible. So now let's go ahead and talk a few numbers. So comparing it to a Street Glide standard, they both have a six gallon tank, but this bike is only gonna get an estimated 41 miles per gallon versus that 43 miles per gallon of the standard, simply because it's putting out a lot more power because this bike is putting out 126 foot-pounds of torque versus that 111 foot-pounds on the standard and the 118 foot-pounds on the special. Now, as far as weight goes, it's only about 40 pounds heavier than the standard, so it's gonna be 866 pounds wet versus the 829 pounds wet. But once you start ripping this bike down the road, that weight's gonna disappear and you're gonna be able to just effortlessly swing this bike around wherever you want. And so that's pretty much most of the features that really make this bike stand out. I mean, it is a fully loaded, top of the line, custom vehicle operations motorcycle from Harley Davidson. So if you're looking for a street glide, but want something that really stands out and has the power and performance to back it up, I'd highly recommend this one. This bike is already set up and ready to rock and roll. So if good, loud sound quality is of really high importance to you, 
This bike's already decked out with the full stage two Roxford Fosgates, so you won't have to worry about that. It's already got heated grips, custom paint job, excellent security, the Kahuna collection of accessories on most everywhere of this bike, and it just looks awesome. So I'd highly recommend trying to see this bike in person and especially in the sunshine where you can really see all that flake just come to life on this thing. And then you can really see what that darker chrome looks like. Pictures of this bike look good but nothing's really going to do it justice like your own eyes and a little bit of sunshine. So thank you for watching and we hope to see you out here at Tobacco Road Harley-Davidson sometime soon.